Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Biscuit. How is everybody doing? Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day wherever you are. So today's video, as you saw by the title, is going to be a review and demo of this Azure Beauty Dip Powder Kit. And thank you so much to Azure Beauty for reaching out to me and asking if I would be willing to try out um, their Dip Powder Kit. So thank you so much. I will be reviewing this, showing you all what's in the kit, and then we'll also do a set of nails. Of course, in this kit, you get your, a user manual, so that way you can follow the instructions on how to do dip powder if you are unfamiliar with how to use dip powder, or if you want a little bit more information about the product itself. So this kit is going to come with eight dips, and they're very, very pretty. Um, it also comes with two applicator brushes, just in case yours gets um, either dry, or uh, it has product in it. It also comes with two wooden cuticle pushers and a nail file. It comes with a nail buffer, so you can buff your nails. And it also comes with this really cute brush, that way you can dust off your powder. And then it also comes with this small uh, dipping container where you can put uh, or really dip your nail inside of the powder. But in this case, I'm actually going to be using one that I already have because I wanted to do some longer nails. At first, I was going to do uh, short nails, but I opted out. Um, this also does come with some swatch sticks, so that way you can do your own swatch sticks um, with the dip, and I do like that they come with that. That is definitely a good bonus. Um, like I said, it does come with eight dipping acrylics, and then also you have your dip liquids as well. Okay, so here we are with my nail tips on. And of course, for this video, I did opt to go for some curved nail tips. Um, I'm trying to get a little bit more into the curved uh, nails because honestly, I know I said this before, I wasn't a big fan of curved nails, nor was I a fan of duck nails. But, you know, as a nail tech, you have to be versatile and you have to be willing to try different things. So here we are. So um, reading the instructions in the kit, obviously I just wanted to make sure that I was going to be applying everything correctly. Um, so I did end up picking five different colors just so that way I can do my swatches as well. So these are the other three colors that I opted not to use. However, they are still very beautiful. Um, once I read the instructions, I noticed that it only said that it's recommended for you to only do three coats. And I was like, three? Mm, I don't think that's gonna work for me. However, um, I think it probably might work if you are doing uh, maybe shorter nails or maybe if you just want a nice thin layer. But at some point in the video, I will show you what the three layers looks like and you're gonna be like, yeah, no, that's way too thin. So dip powder is more on the finer consistency. It's um, of a finer grain. Uh, with the powder so um, when they said three I was like uh, I don't know about that and then of course here I am I tried to use the container but I was like I can't get this long nail in there and then it's um, it's kind of tiny <laughs> so I was like let me go ahead and get this out as well and then I'm going to use the top portion here uh, just to kind of make it a little bit more easier for me and also that my finger um, would have some room Okay, so what I like to do is obviously build up my apex first um, and then I will then go over the whole entire nail. So you can either dip your finger into the dipping powder or you can do the pour over method. Now it's, it's a habit for me to do the pour over method because I have clients. I don't like to have my clients stick their entire finger into the powder. Um, the reason being is because um, bacteria can grow inside of your dip powder and I just, I don't need that, okay? You don't need to be spreading any type of fung funguses or bacteria, so therefore the pour over method for me is a little bit better. Now, 
granted i do know a lot of people say well just have your client wash their hands you know before then and make sure you give them a good scrub i mean you can do that if that's what you like to do um me on the other hand i just prefer not to do it and i'm just gonna stick with that okay and that's that on that as my good sis genie would say um so Preferably, I like to do the pour over method, but if it's just you and you're doing your own nails and nobody else is gonna be using those products, by all means, dip your fingers into the powder. It will make a lot, um, it will make it e so much easier, a lot easier, okay? So for me, the only difficult part that I found out about this set is that I'm using five different colors, okay? So I have to dump all five colors. <laughs> what I'm going through okay so that's probably a downside of uh, doing dip powder nails with um, five different colors now granted you know these are just also for the swatches as well so I'm not really disappointed in that but I'm just saying it takes a lot of work when you are doing dip powder with five different colors and not only that when your jars are so small like that too and you have to dump the powder back into the container so you know to each its own that's just something that i have noticed and that was something that i was like oh this is a little bit tedious but again it was my choice to do it so i do understand that so please don't take it as if i'm saying oh that's a lot of work i mean it is but you know i just i kind of do wish that the containers were a little bit bigger to assist me with pouring in the acrylic so I wouldn't make such of a mess, but you know, to each its own. Do what works for you. This works for me, do what works for you. Okay, so now that I have my first layer for my apex, I'm gonna go ahead and start to do the entire nails. So I'm gonna let you all watch this portion and then I will come back.
Okay, so I ended up losing some footage, but um, here are my nails completely done. I did decide to go and do another layer of um, dip for my apex, so that's why you kind of see um, a little line down the nails because I wanted to build it up a little bit more because it was flat. Um, not saying nothing is wrong with having flat nails, but I kind of wanted to define my apex a little bit. So now I'm taking the activator and I'm being very generous with this and I'm going to let this dry because this is actually the hardener that uh, hardens your nails or hardens the dip powder to make it almost like acrylic, okay? So I'm going to do that again. I'm being very generous, applying it, letting it air dry, and then once I let it air dry for a little bit, um, which is probably about five minutes, then I'm going to go ahead and do my fouling and shaping.
Okay, so here are the nails filed, shaped, and buffed. So now I'm gonna go in with my alcohol and cleanse my nails. And then we're gonna go ahead and put on our top coat and take a look at these nails. Okay, so here is the part of the video where I had to actually go back to the instructions because the top coat seemed a little tacky to me once I finished uh, putting it on and I was like, that's strange. So I was like, hmm, I wonder is this actually a gel top coat and actually it's not. So this is a air dry top coat that you actually have to let air dry for at least two minutes. So I did just pop these in front of the fan uh, because like I said, I noticed by the time I got to the pinky, it started to look uh, tacky um, on the thumb. And so I was like, that's interesting. But yes, you actually have to let this air dry. This is not like a UV or a gel, um, a gel top coat, which um, yeah, I was like, that's interesting. But needless to say, here are the nails. Um, overall, this is a really nice kit. Um, I wasn't too fond of the gel polish or the top coat. I shouldn't say gel polish because it was not gel polish. I wasn't too fond of the top coat because you see right here, it was just it was just tacky. So it's not like it dried um, to be you know a, a no a no white. But you know I felt like they for this kit they could have put um, either a you know gel top coat and gel matte top coat <laughs> okay um but needless to say the powders worked really really well the uh, base coat and the activator work very very well um like i said if i only had something to go off of i wish that they would have actually put a uv uh, top coat that we could just pop in the lamp because you can kind of see the stickiness of the nail so i wasn't a, a fan of that so of course what did i do I'm going to go ahead and buff off the top coat and then I'm going to go ahead and apply my D&D um, &D top coat and put these in the lamp and I'm going to get my shine and I'll be ready to go because you don't want your client to get up out their chair and, you know, lint and her hair be all stuck to her nails. So that was my only thing about this kit. But other than that, the kit was very, very nice. I love the powders. Um, I love that it came with the essentials for you to do your, uh, your set. So um, overall, this is a great kit to purchase. Um, I will leave a link down in the description box if you all are interested in checking out this kit if you haven't tried Azure Beauty already. Thank you so much to Azure Beauty for sending this over to me. I do appreciate it. And if you all have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comment section. And of course, I will respond. And uh, thank you all so much for your love and support. I wouldn't be where I am today without all of you, and I do appreciate it. Um, if you like what you've seen, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and hit that post notification bell so that way you never miss a video from your girl. Follow me on all my social medias down in the description box. And as always, please be safe. Love on your people. Check on your people, even the ones that smile a lot. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.
now tell me the top coat does not make a huge difference because it does in my eyeballs okay so thank you all for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye y'all